<laughs> Welcome to Studio A here at the glorious Corning Museum of Glass. Gonna test these shears. See, that's working good. See, it works good with just straight clear. <laughs> there. So we've got a really interesting kind of semi-complicated thing to make today, which is done through a process I call submersion. I thought, I thought, um, I thought Bill was going to be here. Ah, uh, come on. So we're just about to start. Many of the people in the class have got jobs to do for this setup. This one's not straight. Bottom one's hot. Bottom one's hot. There we go, that one's good. Okay, what else was I gonna do? Oh, oh, I was gonna set a caliper. Set a caliper. Oh, we've been fiddling around trying to get ready for this for a while. Uh, well, I'll just take, take a second anyway. Uh, make any difference. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay. We are set. So first I'm going to make a punny that weighs probably two pounds, close to two pounds. <sighs> We've got a stainless steel cup that's preheated to 750 degrees. And we're gonna ladle glass into that cup. And then shove some pre-made components into that glass in a really weird asymmetric arrangement. And by doing that, when we pull the cane out, if I do everything just right, we'll be able to maintain that really odd exotic cross section. to get another layer of glass over this. I'm trying to make this the diameter of the top of my cup. It's kind of a plunger of a thing. We've done uh, two rounds of experiments with this setup earlier during different workshops right here in this studio. Ha! And now we wait. Tick, 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 tick. So I've got kind of a cylinder, four and a quarter inches long, inch and three quarters in diameter, 
in this oven over here at 1019 degrees. And I want this very stiff, but just warm and sticky locally where I will stick that component and I will stick it radically off center. And then I'll have to be fiddling around with it a little bit to get it in exactly the right position so that it clears the cold mild steel cup, the perimeter of it by between a half an inch and five eighths. And we're only going to use that mild steel cup to check the position of this component. And then on the side that is um, toward the center of that component, I will torch that and I have a ribbon prepared in another oven at about 1,020. And I will stick that to that. And then once I get that all positioned with the temperature equalized, then we'll be ready to get the hot cup and put it on the platform and ladle glass into that and shove this into that. Chad. Yeah, I'll heat this a little bit and then you can just sit here and stand here and turn this and I will show them some of the objects oh, that are similar to the things we intend to make with these canes we're making today. So, so this this cane here I call the um, Saturn cane, and it is done this exact way that we're going to make this cane here in a few moments. So this is the ribbon, and this is the off-center feature, and the off-center feature is right here uh, waiting. We made it yesterday. It consists of clear glass and a, a layer of enamel white put over that with a whole bar of uh, color overlaid and then the transparent color over that. This one that I'm gonna do first here is kind of a bright uh, purple. Here's another, to watch that, there's another manifestation of that design with the Saturn. Now later in the day, we'll do some like this with, with two of these components right smack next to one another. And for this, we will have the cup straight up and down with the axis of our pipe pointing straight to the center of the earth. But for this asymmetric thing, we've got the cup and the entire machine, the entire device here is, is, is tilted at a steep angle so that, if we're okay, so that the glass will be at a level like this. And when I put the asymmetric feature in here toward this side, then the glass will fill that void rather than fly up all over the outside like it would if it was straight, inserting an asymmetric feature. Uh, okay, uh, I think we can pick it up soon. That will, will, so which one are you picking up? Uh, I'm picking up the inch and three quarter on the left. purple one on the left. Yeah, well you could be, be the left opening that up. Uh. I want this bulk of this material to be very stiff and just to be tacky where I'm going to pick this up so it doesn't flop all over like crazy.
tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The thrill of reheating. Don't want to get it too hot. Like the three bears. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Ready. Oh, it's a little bit hot. A little bit hot. be sure. See, it's really weird. I got to have this turning. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. But I want it going like a, like a crankshaft journal. <laughs> so the outside of it is just as it wants to migrate in. And not not and not do this. This. Uh, I haven't done one of these since last February. Uh, I don't really have the option to adjust it now because it's so cold. Oh, hurry up. Ah, okay. Okay, now we're gonna to continue to equalize the temperature a little bit so that it's relatively stiff. And then I'll prepare to put the ribbon on. Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. Come on. That's what we want. It doesn't really want to do this. <laughs> See the end continuously wants to tow in. Heat it back here a little bit. That way I can let it get a little colder. Starting to glow a little bit. Let's flash a little bit. Need to get that hot a little bit more right there where I want to stick the ribbon. Whole thing is equalizing nicely.
All right, now, Svetlana will open the door. <laughs> yes. Assume the position. Don't want it too hot. Just the right amount of sticky. Just the right amount of sticky. Okay, now. Ugh. Get this all stabilized. And as soon as I get this all stabilized, the rest of the team will begin. No, not yet. I'll need to check this one more time. Fiddle dee dee. Fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee dee. Okay, get the cup. Yes, yes. Oh, burn that off, burn the oil off in the glory hole. Shove it in the other glory. Oh, yeah, oh, great, 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 great. Chad is ahead of it. We are ready. Don't worry about that. Don't pull it, don't touch it. Don't touch it yet. We'll just pull, but get real close, put it right in. Pour a little more in, a little more in. Okay, shear. Okay, torch. Torch, 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 torch. <laughs> get the shear mark, see the shear mark right, right, it's, it's over there. Okay, now, no, no, not, not so there, right. Uh, all right, all right, right, done. Now, now. Now just wait. Okay, now squish that back up. Throw it up on the oil. Just throw it right up. Just up, up, all the way up. Yeah, just, just up. Up, up, yeah, up a little more over there. Yeah, a little more right there. Up, up. Okay, good. Now we're going to get out of here. Here we go. Uh, on the floor. Uh, we're going to turn. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look, it's pretty clean. <laughs> All righty, we got it. <sighs> okay, check the chat, check or check check the marver, check the for for cleanliness. Now I need to equalize the temperature. Yeah, check the check the steel. Do the steel, steel, steel. Uh, let's see. Ah. Fairly clean. <laughs> I didn't want to just jerk it out of there. I've attenuated it and ruined the whole thing. <laughs> now the thing I inserted is still very cold and stiff and the fresh glass around it is hot. And so I have to equalize all that so that this crazy 
spatial relationship I made does not get ruined by marvering the um, fresh hot glass off. So get everything in position for the pull. Move that uh, pipe cooler and get the angle of that thing, the pulling thing. Eventually, once I start to run it out, but I can't run it out until I get it really kind of equalized. Otherwise, it will really step on this crazy relationship. Try to center this thing up here. didn't go too bad. <laughs> Everybody had their job to do. I was worried it wouldn't come out. Just kind of take my time and go up and down, up and down, up and down. I, this is the first time we ever did it with this hot cup here with this Littleton glass. And each different clear glass really feels different. We'd like to get this all in one pull, a size of an index finger, about five foot long. Did the spout seem to help? The spout was an experimental last. Good, good. We put an experimental spout on the ladle. My uh, blacksmith helped me forge that in there because the normal ladle, it just kind of pours off in a big wide sheet. And it was just a theory that maybe the spout would help. And lo and behold, it seems to have helped. It's just about the right temperature that I can start elongating it into a solid kind of a cone figure. And then I'll try to get it just the right temperature to pull it out. You see that little detail in one of those spheres, you'd never guess, would you? <laughs> there, see, we're a good temperature to start the shaping. <sighs> Drying up. Just a few tiny bubbles. Come on. Now, believe it or not, this is uh, fairly straightforward compared to some of the other. <laughs> filigrana configurations that I do. It just requires a lot of contraption. <laughs> oh, do we have some kind of a gauge so we can know how long we can put a cane into the annealing oven, into the uh, top loader? Into the top loader? If some kind of a, a measurement of how long we can put in there. Oh, yeah. Like a, a mark, put, mark one of the, um, one of the ladders. So we'll know the maximum length. We'll anneal this cane because it'll be too large to cut reliably, hopefully, um, if we just leave it out in the air. If we leave it out in the air, it'll kind of splatter on the ends and it'll ruin a substantial amount of our length. Eventually we want six inch long canes so we can incorporate, so we can incorporate them into the spheres that I showed earlier. Come on, oh, we're getting close to the right shape here. Uh, 
ideally one nice pull would be good. Everything looks ready. It does in fact look ready. <laughs> Where's my Norwegian? <laughs> we need we need air on this. Yeah, get him get him for the air on this. Okay, we'll have you do the air. We have quite an international group. Uh, okay, uh, Bradley, okay. Now, wait a minute, I, I need to get it a little bit more attenuated here. See, I'm getting a little bit longer. Oh, that looks like fairly good anatomy in there. See, it's holding nice and tubular. Uh, let me, uh, okay. Hey, guys. Oh. Now, wait a second. Okay, go ahead. Ready now. <laughs> oh, don't hit the hole. Okay, go ahead. Oh, get the whole thing hot. A few more of these heat treats. Two more, it seems. <sighs> really like to get the whole thing. <laughs> really burn the tip there a little bit. A little more right on the tip. Now let's do it one more time. One more time. Starting to feel about right. After this one, we will do it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Now let's come up. Oh, yeah. yeah, right there. Do it, do it, do it, do it there, right there. Yeah, right there, right there. We wanted to pull it out more. Where it's toward Chad there. Do it right there, yeah. Ah. Now slow, do it, Bradley, right there. We're a whole bunch right there, a whole bunch. Really a whole bunch, really aggressively. Chad, stop pulling, stop pulling. Just, um, yeah, really a whole bunch there, Brad, there. Now. Now it's still, it's starting to twist back where it was heavy. Now stop, stop, stop. A little more, right, right, right there, right there, right there. Stop. Now just, uh, just kind of, kind of hold it. Don't really make it any longer. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, that's exciting. <laughs> that worked good. <laughs> so you got a mark on the somewhere where we can. Oh, okay. So that's where we'll figure it out. 
So we'll probably get two pieces then, all the way to the end to that silver. I'll just keep holding it there because it's, we don't want it to try to straighten it out a little bit. Let's go down the floor so we can straighten it out. So in case you become detached. Well, I, um, here, Bradley, um, did I put the air down? We're done with that. Um, uh, yeah, cut it right there where the silver line is. Oh, good. Now, uh, get, 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 get way, way, way down there. Wait, wait, right all the way, all the way. No, here, here, here. Like all the way down there. Yeah, because it's there's something there. Let's just hold it for a second. Get, get, the, get that part in the oven. <laughs> okay, try to get that up there. Bang it. Just, <laughs> it's a meaty stick. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, that only took a half an hour. We can set up and do another one. Let's do another one. Knock another one out. <laughs> so pick up the other ribbon, right? Yes. Okay, yes, yes. Huh, Alrighty. That went pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna start another one. Yes. Um, I, I'm not sure we'll get it. Well, maybe we'll get it done. These are really pretty quick because the parts are already pre-made. <sighs> I'm gonna wipe my sweat off here. Uh, what are you doing that? Jeez. Oh, I gotta make sure there's a, um, a rod up here to start another one. That's the hot one. Is, is, that, is that one straight? Yeah, get, yeah, we yeah, warm that up. Well, that was just the thickness we were looking for. Yeah, just about. It. <laughs> a little exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> and almost. Oh, back to you. I was, oh. Was oh, yeah, yeah. And I, I didn't want to. If I pulled it out, it would have stretched and ruined it. So, but that the uh, technique worked. Just keep. Oh, that's it. You, got, you were jumping on it. And you were. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a penalty for having a preheated cup. Let's do another one. <laughs> what a team, huh? Ah. Uh, all righty, just a second. Oh, I'm aware of all the pitfalls now. Okay, let's do another one. This one will have a uh, all different colors, but the exact same anatomy. <laughs> Hot in there. So this is only the third session we've had with the preheated cup. The mild steel cup could not be preheated. It would corrode and corrupt our glass. And it's a real advancement having those pegs and that special implement to be able to handle that cup because that cup weighs 17 pounds, 11 ounces. Now it has to be that heavy because it starts out at 750 degrees and we put probably 2200 degree glass in there and if it gets to 900 that glass will stick so it has to be so massive that in the amount of time it's sitting there it doesn't get to that point now we almost didn't get out of it that that but we but we did so we want to be right on that edge The preheated cup removes heat from the mass of glass way less aggressively than a room temperature steel cup. And so this keeps the glass that's in the proximity of the interior of the cup more malleable so I don't draw giant blisters down in inserting this big broad feature. There are three or four subtle different um, improvements we've made before this exact uh, procedure we just did. Things from, that we learned from the last several experiences, and it all seems to have worked.
we have we got dead air here. <laughs> well, as soon as I get this shaped, I could uh, when I get this shaped, I can have Chad idle this, and I can talk about some of these other objects over here that relate. Yeah. Tilt a whirl. It was neat how it pulled out and it didn't think it was going to twist, but then we chilled it at the back okay. part and then, and then we, we've, it's, kind of the it's still, way. yeah, yeah, but it, we getting, it yes, yeah, getting it all, seven. getting it all in one pull is just the best. Yeah, instead of four or five. We might have, yeah, well, we might have uh, ideally two three foot sections that match out of that. And it was even, no blisters? Well, a few tiny ones, but nothing that would be a real problem. No, that's good. <laughs> Everybody knows their place. Oh, I'm just a little small. Ha! There we go. You see how when you first when you pick that when you pick that up it doesn't want to it doesn't want it wants to toe in. Okay. Well, you got to keep fiddling with it. It's got to be set like a rock. And then I made that mistake of having the ribbon too warm that one time, and it collapsed. And it got all firmy on you. That was pretty cold going in there. And you didn't have that problem that time. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> so I put that bright orange bordered ribbon on that on that purple one, and the next one's the hot hot pink. This is hot pink with. Um, with the, uh, it, no, it's the, uh, that, that very dark black heliotrope purple on the border. Okay, Chad can keep this, and we can um, talk about some of these objects here. So this, um, this was done in uh, 2009, and many of these canes are submersion, done the same way, but with the mild steel cup. Yeah, this one's submersion, and this one's submersion, and this one is, and this one is. Now these are earlier uh, Clown Murano filigranas where there are 14 different canes. So it's like a population portrait within a single object with the uh, sort of elephant gray background. They have two north poles, they're sealed, the pattern is sealed at both ends. And this is another one from that same vintage with entirely different canes. These are my prototypes. I keep a prototype of every design I've ever made. This one was a really an enormous setup. Uh, we're all right. Because it's three-sided and there were um, many, many canes across there. So it was probably six inches wide and weighed uh, close to 20 pounds when we set that up. So most of these canes are, are lacy, except for the, the ribbons. And the emphasis in my work in the last decade or so has been the solid figuration. This is, a, this is a black Duro gap cane with a, with a moiré pattern. You can see that moiré pattern. And these were done with the submersion technique. When it's straight, when this uh, cane of this anatomy is straight, I call it all thread. This one was the very first one of this type and it really elegantly models this, this form. There's a purple one that does that too. Yeah, this one has, we're good. This one has an incredible chiaroscuro kind of uh, illumination of this form. And it's done from the same, same procedure, that's done from the same procedure that we've pulled, pulled this cane from. And it's all right, but it doesn't, it doesn't have that magic effect and I really don't know why. Okay, we're just about ready for the second pickup. 
I can um, start that local heating. Well, we've got um, this one and three others of these to do today from parts we made yesterday. I hope they all go as well as that last one. Boy, that was really fun. Avoided all the pitfalls. All my helpers did everything exactly right. The temperature of everything was just right. Your air work was very good on that, <laughs> Bradley. Your air work was very good on that. Do it just like that. We had to improvise and cool that section toward the pipe, that, but that works. If the air work isn't right, we can make knots and really bad thickness changes. being on the air at the last step there, you have to be kind of a little bit ahead of it. By the time you notice the problem, it's almost too late to alleviate it. Yeah, you always have to be on the left anyway, kind of because of the oven there. Yeah, go on the other side. Yeah, that's, there we go. Chad will open the door for me, and we'll pick up another one of these components. The same configuration as the other one, but a different color. This one's a real hot, super saturated gold ruby pink. It will just look black in the rod, though. So it has to be really excessive in thickness now, the transparent color, so when it runs out, it will be right. Mild steel cut back, okay. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Almost got the hose on fire. <laughs> Tangled up in the machinery. <laughs> you could have had a fire, scarecrow. Got a little bit of a smudge there from touching the rubber butt. Not much. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. Mm. 
looks a little bit close. <sighs> Boy, that last one had good anatomy. This all stabilized. Next step is to put the ribbon on. <laughs> It'll be a little bit. I only want it hot and sticky where I'm going to pick up the ribbon. Maybe I should check the. I'll just check the position of that. Make sure it's standing up all right. Is it okay? Yeah. Let's just look. Just okay. a little. Just a little bit. Just to see. That's perfect. Okay, we'll just make sure. I got a little bit of schmutz on this ribbon while I was making it earlier today. Hopefully, it doesn't ruin everything. Just another of the millions of pitfalls. We need this about 1350, maybe 1400, right on this little face. It's the only part of it that I want sticky, and I certainly don't want the whole thing moving. Preheat a little bit more. Come on. It's really fun when you've engaged in a really weird, difficult process like this and then had a number of ideas on how to fix things. And you make all these little changes <laughs> and you improve every little aspect just a little bit and it all becomes more possible. I'll be ready this time. Okay, we're ready. Maybe I should, I'll do it down here. Except we got that thing, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Easier, more proximity, okay, good. Yeah, that handle there, okay, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Ah.
now we'll have to stabilize the temperature again. Check the fit. I hope that schmutz doesn't show up. It will though. <laughs> Uh, it's really fused on there. I don't know where exactly it came from. We had a hot plate with these components that we put together for the ribbon earlier today. Boy, that went on there in just the right position, I must say. Get all stabilized again here. We can hope that there'll be enough mileage that it will be not noticeable. <laughs> Dream on. There's a big difference between realizing your intention at 97% and realizing it at 85%. <laughs> oh, we're just about coming up on the position check. Yes, it's going perfect. It's, it's really counterintuitive. It's very strange. Position check. Okay. And the rest of the team begins their chores. Up a little bit. Okay, cut close. Cut close. Cut. Oh, oh, oh! Pull it, pull it up out of there. Oh, oh! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! Oh, no. oh. That's pretty good. Go ahead, go ahead. Torch, 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 torch. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, we got the shear mark off of there. Okay. St go away. Stop, stop, stop now. Okay. Push it up on the oil. Just up, 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 up. Okay, we'll get the, get a hold of it here. Yeah, let, here, let, let, here we go. Let's get a hold of it. Yeah, down here, reverse position. Shove up a little more, Brad. Right there. Oh, I guess it's right there, right there. Okay, now, I'm to start to get, come on. Up a little more right there. There we go. <laughs> One blister. One blister. I drew that down in with that big broad feature. Not bad though. This is an incredibly risky procedure as far as cleanliness of construction goes. There, check the, check the steel. They got one blister from sucking in probably from that, uh, that big broad, broad feature. I, I drew it down in there. You can see by the shape of it, but it's not. Horrendous. Well, not the whole way either. Not the whole way either. Let's see what happens. Can't do anything about that one. But so much less than before. Remember how big they were? Uh, <laughs> the cup is just a little bit bigger. It's about an eighth of an inch bigger in diameter than the mild steel one. About a quarter inch deeper. Really take my time to equalize all this temperature. Yeah, this. Yeah, we'll just. Just keep going. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we got three more to go. Or we'll do. Yeah, we'll just. We'll, even, even if it's this afternoon, we'll just. We'll, we'll do. Yeah, we'll do those. And then I really need to make one of the large lacy canes. We haven't even made them. We have all the parts. We have all the parts. 
either the elliptical one, except it's, it's, it's so heavy. <laughs> the elliptical one and the and that and that crazy two by four cross section one. It's giant. Well, I don't think we'll be able to get that giant one today, too. After we do three more of these, and then we'll be charging, and I'll be on to neodymium air. <laughs> I just I just have to. It's witchy. <laughs> We've got some neodymium transparent glass in the pot for me to make super jets and threes and skulls out of. <clears throat> Very rare earth. Amazing color. It, um, the neodymium looks sort of periwinkle blue in fluorescent light and pinky lavender purple in incandescent light completely changes color with the wavelengths it's subjected to. It's starting to be equalized here, almost. Yeah, believe it or not, that was a breakthrough that you could just shove the stuff back up into the scrap <laughs> rather than let it you know, go down and stick onto your stock. Yeah, all that crud. Ugh. Well, getting it, getting it in one shot is just what you want. That thickness, right? That, that everything was just close to being exactly so on that last pull. I can start to run it out to the right shape. Now that it's a little more equalized. Come on. So we'll do the other two asymmetric ones, the egg experiments, and then we'll get it off the tilt the whirl and do that sort of binary symmetric one. They're just the two, you know. You got to take a tremendous amount of time equalizing the heat, otherwise that fresh hot glass will just you'll ruin your the whole geometry that you set up. I know this. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's only by falling into all the pitfalls that you know where they are. You got to get this a lot longer first. Just starting to be the right shape. Ugh. That'll probably be another, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes before we'll be ready to pull this. Maybe. Come on, longer. Pull it out, pull it out. Almost ready for the magic Bradley air. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I need to get a little bit skinnier out there. Just a little bit, see, just a little bit. Probably next time. Uh, it's got a little bit of a thickness out there I don't like, but I'd like to get down, so uh, let me marvel it one more time. Uh, uh. Uh. Whole thing moving. All right, we'll start with the air.
couple more. One more and then we'll do it. One more. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Okay, get it. Yeah, get it. Yeah, well, the other side. Go. Get, 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 get it. Okay. Oh, let's come all the way up. Well, that one's really ropey. Stop, stop with the air. Now. Oh, man. That one's really roping. Yeah, pull. Actually, it looks. Yeah, a little bit there where it's thin. Further away. Yeah. yeah. More there where it's thin. Uh, yeah, more, more there, more there. Stop. Now just kind of, kind of hold it. Don't make it too much longer. Just feed more twist in. Just don't, don't, don't make it longer. Yeah. More air, right? Yeah. Well, that's probably done down there. Uh. So it got a little bit thin right down by Chad's end. But it's 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 probably done. We're not we're not pulling it any longer. I really wanted to rope up that uh, Duro was really expressing itself, making it ridge. <laughs> okay, we can't twist anymore. So yeah we'll get down to the ground and we'll pull it to keep it Keep it stiff. Go, go down so, so you're at your mark. Now pull it, pull it so it straightens out. Pull, pull, pull. Ooh, hot. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see if it'll do it. Okay. Alrighty. Get that. Here, let's, let's just do this one down here. And then we can. No, oh, no, wires. There we go now. I get the whole sucker because we just want it. It's because it's, it's gorgeous. <laughs> See if we can do it. It's just such a fun thing to have, even if it. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks wild, doesn't it, with that dark purple border? <laughs> okay, try it. Maybe wait, wait, let, let me rotate a little bit. Yeah, no, just hold it there, yeah, for a little bit. Okay, try that. Ha! Oh, look at that thing. Oop. Tangled up here. All right. Ah, excellent. That's kind of fun. Yay! <laughs> Two of them in an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> Hydration. All right, so should we sign off?